You may think you've heard about every creature under the sun, but have you heard about sea pens? Now before you start picturing a writing utensil floating around in the ocean, let's clear up some misconceptions. The sea pen, despite its name, is far from an inanimate object. In fact, it's a living, breathing creature that resides in the mysterious depths of our world's oceans. The whimsical name sea pen comes from its uncanny resemblance to antique quill pens. Its structure, a large central stalk with smaller polyps branching out, paints a striking image of a writer's quill dipped in ink. But here's where things get even more fascinating. The sea pen, as we perceive it, isn't a singular organism. No, it's not pulling a fast one on you. It's simply a marvel of nature. A sea pen is a colony of polyps, each playing their unique part in the survival of the whole. Imagine a bustling city, but underwater and each citizen is an integral part of the structure itself. Now, you might be wondering how does a sea pen actually resemble a pen? The central stalk, or rachis, is the backbone of the sea pen. It's sturdy, robust, and provides the necessary support, much like the body of a pen. The smaller polyps, on the other hand, extend out from the rachis like delicate feathers of a quill. Some polyps work on feeding, others on reproducing, and some form the protective outer layer. It's a perfect example of teamwork, nature style. The sea pen world is an intricate network of cooperation and symbiosis, a testament to the wonders that lie beneath the ocean's surface. It's a reminder that even in the deep, dark depths, there exists a vibrant, thriving community, living their lives in a harmony we can only aspire to replicate. So next time you think of a pen, don't forget about these remarkable underwater colonies. They are the unsung heroes of the ocean, silently penning the tale of life beneath the waves. Imagine a cityscape glowing in the night, but this city is underwater and the buildings are sea pens. Now that's a sight to behold, isn't it? You see, these intriguing creatures aren't just your everyday marine life. They have a bit of magic up their sheath, or should I say down their polyps. The sea pen, a unique member of the coral family, has an astounding ability to light up the ocean floor like a bustling metropolis at night. This is all thanks to a fascinating phenomenon known as bioluminescence. When disturbed, the sea pen emits a stunning light, transforming the deep sea into a mesmerizing spectacle of twinkling stars. Think of it as the ocean's very own fireworks display, a light show that leaves spectators in utter awe, and quite possibly, a little bit of confusion. It's like a secret party thrown by the sea pens, where the only invitation you need is a deep sea dive. Historically, this spectacle has not gone unnoticed. It has caught the attention of explorers and sailors who ventured into the enigmatic domain of the deep sea. These brave souls, upon witnessing the sea pen's brilliant light show, couldn't help but be captivated. Their accounts of the phenomenon painted vivid images of an underwater city ablaze with lights, a sight that seemed too fantastical to be true. These mesmerizing displays weren't without their share of myths and legends. Some sailors spun tales of submerged cities of gold, their lights shimmering from the depths. Others believed they had stumbled upon the dwelling place of mermaids and sea monsters, the lights serving as a beacon guiding them to their underwater kingdom. But all myths aside, the truth remains. This incredible display of bioluminescence is a testament to the sea pen's remarkable adaptation to its deep sea environment. A survival tactic, a defense mechanism, and a spectacle of nature's beauty all rolled into one. The ocean's nightlife just got a whole lot more exciting, didn't it? And to think, it's all thanks to the humble sea pen, the deep sea's very own architect of light. History and sea pens? You bet! They've been around for more than 500 million years. It's quite a statement, isn't it? But it's true. These marine marvels have been gracing our planet's oceans since the Cambrian period. That's right, the Cambrian period, an era that began over half a billion years ago. This was a time when life on Earth began to diversify at an extraordinary rate, a phenomenon often referred to as the Cambrian explosion. The fossil record from this period is teeming with evidence of sea pens, their delicate forms preserved in exquisite detail. When you think of evolution, you might picture it as a slow, gradual process. But the story of the sea pens is a testament to how adaptable life can be. Over hundreds of millions of years, they've evolved to thrive in a wide range of environments from shallow coastal waters to the crushing depths of the abyssal zone. Their secret? A simple yet effective body plan and a knack for finding the perfect spot in the sand. But life on Earth hasn't always been smooth sailing. Our planet has seen its fair share of mass extinctions. 
2.5 to be precise, cataclysmic events that have wiped out most of the life on Earth. Yet through all this, the sea pens have persisted, they've weathered asteroid impacts, volcanic super eruptions and drastic climate changes. They've outlived the dinosaurs, and they've seen the rise and fall of countless species. So, what's their secret to survival? Well, it's a combination of factors. Their ability to burrow into the ocean floor provides a safe haven from predators and environmental changes. Their bioluminescent displays deter potential threats. And their reproductive strategy, releasing thousands of eggs into the water, ensures that even in the face of disaster, some will survive to carry on the lineage. It's humbling to know that these resilient creatures have been around longer than the dinosaurs. Living in the ocean isn't easy, but sea pens have some unique survival strategies. Surviving in the ocean's depths is no walk in the park, or swim in the sea, if you will. It's a world of constant threats and survival of the fittest. That's where our friends, the sea pens, come in with their unique, almost quirky survival strategies. Let's start with their anchoring prowess. Sea pens aren't drifters, they are settlers. They've got this neat trick where they anchor themselves into the ocean floor. But how do they do it? Well, they use a bulbous part of their structure, known as a peduncle, to burrow into the sandy or muddy seabed. This keeps them steady amidst the ocean currents and gives new meaning to the phrase holding one's ground. But what happens when danger lurks? When a predator approaches, these underwater wordsmiths don't just sit there and wait for an unhappy ending. They have an escape plan, and it's as dramatic as it is effective. When threatened, sea pens retract into the ground, disappearing from sight faster than a magician's assistant. They pull their feathery structures into the peduncle, leaving the predator bamboozled and hungry. It's the perfect disappearing act, proving that they are not just survivors, but also masters of illusion. But wait, there's more. Sea pens also have some friends in low places. They share a symbiotic relationship with certain species of brittle stars. These agile echinoderms live among the sea pen's branches, gaining protection and a place to call home. In return, the brittle stars help to keep the sea pens clean, making this a win-win partnership. Through their anchoring ability, their disappearing acts and their symbiotic relationships, sea pens have managed to carve out a life in the harshest of environments. They are an example of how adaptation, cooperation, and a bit of magic can lead to survival in a world full of challenges. In the face of danger, sea pens really know how to, well, pen themselves in. Each sea pen has a story to tell, a story of survival, endurance, and illumination. Let's journey back and recap the fantastic tale of our glowing underwater marvels, the sea pens. These creatures are not solitary individuals, but rather a thriving colony of polyps, working together to form the beautiful, quill-like structure we know and love. Each polyp, a tiny organism in its own right, contributes to the collective, creating a unified entity that is greater than the sum of its parts. This, my friends, is the embodiment of true teamwork in the marine world. Now imagine the darkest corners of the ocean where sunlight fails to penetrate. It's here that our sea pens take the spotlight, literally. Their bioluminescent abilities allow them to glow in the dark, creating a mesmerizing light show beneath the waves. This isn't just for show, though. This spectacle serves as a deterrent to predators, making sea pens one of the few creatures that can turn a potential threat into a captive audience. Our sea pens are not just a spectacle of nature. They also hold a special place in our history. Sailors of yore would tell tales of these glowing entities, often attributing them to mythical sea creatures or lost treasures. These stories, passed down through generations, have added a layer of myth and mystery to these amazing organisms. Survival in the deep sea is a game of adaptability, and sea pens play it well. They burrow into the seafloor during the day, hiding from predators and harsh conditions. When night falls, they emerge, glowing and feeding, displaying a resilience that is truly inspiring. This unique survival strategy has allowed sea pens to thrive in some of the most inhospitable environments on our planet. So, the sea pens, with their colonial unity, their glow-in-the-dark spectacle, their historical significance, and their survival skills, paint a vivid picture of life in the deep sea. They are an intriguing and essential part of the marine ecosystem, each one telling a tale of survival, endurance, and illumination. So the next time you dip your pen into an inkwell, spare a thought for the sea pens, illuminating the ocean depths with their remarkable story.